Really, my guy? He was popping. Man, doing great, bro. Yourself? Can't complain, man. I see you went to the game last night, right? Yeah, I did. Have a good time, man. Real good time. Okay, okay, okay. You been to an Eagles game before? No, I never been to Eagles. How was that experience? <laughs> man, it was great. You know, I'm a big college fan, so I like, I like, you know, hardcore fan bases, you know? Right, 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 the, right, Eagles, right. the Eagles are one of those teams that has – you know, it's like a sports town. So it's like it was, it was definitely good to be there. The, the pregame and the postgame, just kicking it with everybody, all the Eagles jerseys, man. Pretty fire. Did you get recognized at all? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit, man. It was really <laughs> dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting how uh, the last year has gone. Like, I would say I've probably, like, a lot, lot more in the last year than the previous, you know, mm -hmm. five or six years. So, Well, Ward, unfortunately, sir, my quarterback is down for the season. This hurt. When I, bro, when I tell you I am a hurt, you got to understand something. I'm a Jets fan. Yeah. Nothing happens. There's no good stuff that happens stuff. So when I'm here, Aaron Rodgers is coming to my squad. It's like, but see, this is why I wanted uh, Derek Carr. I did want Derek Carr because of the age difference. 27, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 39. Now, do you think he's going to retire or is he going to come back? He's, he's such a um... – I think his ego won't let him retire, but I think right. he should, you know? Right, right. He's such a, uh, yeah, like a warrior. He's like, I didn't go into a cave for two weeks to come out and play four snaps. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, like, that's um, crazy, man. But, yeah, man, that was tough. You know, last year uh, we experienced something similar. You know, when I'm a Tennessee fan, when Hendon Hooker tore his ACL. Yeah, tore ACL and, you know, yeah, he was on his way to possibly winning the Heisman. We were possibly going to be in the, the college football playoff. And it's like when you're a fan of a when you're a fan of a team that always finds a way to just they they emotionally attach you to to it for some reason and they get you optimistic and then they just rip so, it out. When, when, Ward, when stuff like this happens, the first thing that comes to my head is like this: Why do I like sports? I wish I liked sports so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm too attached. Yeah. I'm too attached to this team. And hey, my pastor, good, my pastor used to know if Tennessee lost on Saturday, I wasn't gonna be there Sunday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you how you doing in fantasy? fantasy uh, I'm doing, I did too many leagues this year, man. But I mean, I'm enjoying it. But I did too many leagues, so it's hard to enjoy because somebody might be scoring on your team, but he's definitely playing against you if you're in that many leagues. So, uh, so I, the leagues that I'm like, I shouldn't say care about. I, I I start and care about them all, but the ones that are like big money leagues and the the ones that like you know we got trophies and all mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm doing I'm doing real well in those right now. So. Mm -hmm. I beat oh, Rome last week. I beat Rome last week. So, you know, I hit him up this week to see if um, he was coming to the Eagles game, and he let me know that he was still down and out trying to, you know, figure out, uh, you know, how to get his team together for fantasy this week after I beat him. So, <laughs> Let me see a Chiefs hat. That is hard. That Thank Chiefs you. hat is hard. I just don't beat that. That I don't know is I, hard. I don't, know, I don't know if I should wear it in Philly tomorrow, you know, since we beat him in the Super Bowl, you know. <laughs> I wore my Tennessee stuff to the game. I wore my college that stuff be, to the game. The that's on the ground. Yeah. Absolutely. Talk to me about 150,000 views. That's where we're at. Nice. nice. That's nice, bro. That's exciting, bro. Yeah. Everybody's really like the tweets, the comments, the everything. You know, mm. like I said, I tell people all the time, like when you battle guys, when I battled um, DNA on Blackout, mm -hmm. was that seven? You know, that was my eighth battle ever. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I did really, really well. And he did very well. And right. he shared it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you battle guys that are like on a certain status to where they're following and like, you know, they're, they're proud of their work and they're right. sharing it because it, people are not saying that they got 30 or smoked right. or anything like that. Like that's a, that's a benefit to somebody like me, you know? So right. the fact that, you know, verb probably still in space is talking about the battle. He's sharing it. He's, you know, he's sending out, you know, check this out. Right. You know, that's, that's awesome. To me. So yeah, part of you is like, yo, it's a grudge match. I want to 30 this dude. But you know that happens, then you know, it, it, all right, I ain't, I ain't gonna send that. You know, so it's it's a it's it's been a dope to see that everybody's sharing it. The culture's loving it. I think they're considering it like a battle of the year nominee. Um, you know, so yeah, it's really dope. Are you surprised Verb is tweeting at you so much as of lately? And it's always it's always showing love or respect. Are you surprised that it's, it's like that? I've noticed he's tweeting. Every time I go on Twitter, he's tweeting at you, but it's it's, it's all it's all love. Yeah, you know, I followed him today. I don't know if I'll get a follow back, but I went ahead and followed him today because uh, after he tweeted something yesterday, he was like, respect or something. And uh, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I went ahead and followed him today. But, uh, but yeah, man, shout out to him, man. He's uh, he, he like I said in the tweet I put out yesterday, like he he carried the load of the promo, you know, mm -hmm. heavily. 
Um, and then he, he delivered in the battle um, on a level in which he was a he, he, he was proud of. Um, and yeah, I can't ask for more, you know. Yesterday when the space is Mickey Fax was in there, right? And they were making a big conversation about sharing notes or whatever in the group chat and everything. Can you, can you expound on that a little bit? I saw Gerald McCoy uh, tweet that you also. Maybe you have to give me some in, in, input because I, I'm, I didn't understand. I seen a tweet that was sent to me and I, I hit a Mickey today and I was like, what does this tweet mean? You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't understand the context of it. So, like, um, I know people were saying that, I guess, Verb said I pulled my phone out and looked up yes, yes, palindromes. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, which is completely like a lie. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know how you could just dodge cameras, but like, you know, the right. VODs up, you know, the right. VODs up, which is which is obviously a certain way that it's filmed and then it's right. edited, you know, and I'm, you know, right. so um, and I, you know, in the in the VOD, you know, I I hand my phone to Loso. I put it on uh, uh put my uh, put on silent and mm -hmm. I hand it to Loso. He had like the phone the whole battle. So. You know, so like there's no, it was no, you know, looking up palindromes or anything. Like, I'm really actually mad that I didn't think of more. Like, with the fact that I could only think of two to do, like, I wanted to do more than what he did. But as I was like sitting there brainstorming, I'm like, all right, all right, we're just gonna go with these. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I guess in the, in the thing, I'm not sure what you're saying. Like, he, what, like, what was the context of that conversation? Basically, um, there was, a, I guess, Verb was saying you, you went on your phone and, Mickey Fax, you know, there was a line that you said, I think, remember you said it right. There was a line that you said, and I guess you looked it up on, you looked it up on your phone or whatever, and Mickey said, you said that line in the group chat before, before you said in the battle, I guess. I'm trying to paraphrase right now, I'm so sorry. And they were making a tiff fit about you guys, you sharing bars to other people in the group chat and everything like that. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I don't know what that is. Mickey probably was misunderstanding standing or anything like so. My thought is that Verb is saying that one of my freestyles was like was not a freestyle. Was that like that I came I, late when it came to the yeah. conversation? Yeah, no, but I do. So, I, you know, um, I have, uh, you know, a couple of groups that I'm a part of where I'll I'll post my rounds, you know, and let people hear my yeah. rounds, you know, before yeah. the battle. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's all that's all that I've done, you know, in like YTG is like, yo, here's my first round. Here's my second. round, Here's my third round. Like, what do you think? You know, right. same way that like same way that I would spar with you on the phone, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so. Uh, but, yeah, no, we don't you know, there wasn't there wasn't anything, you know, uh, you know, I, and I definitely didn't have my I mean, listen, to get your phone out, to go to Google, to type in, to search something like right. that's not something I could even do, like secretively. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like so, like there's no there's no reason to even have that conversation. So yeah, but yeah, I don't know about what the the, the, the group chat thing was, but um, mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I posted in the YTG group chat was um was my uh was actually I only posted my first round in okay. the group chat, mm -hmm. um and it's funny uh, um because like I thought you know like like most of the people were gonna be like ah oh, that opening bar you know Glock mm -hmm. forty or whatever is is crazy you know. And I got mixed reviews on it. And I said in an interview before, like a lot of people gave me mixed reviews on Glock 40. Like, well, I don't sorry, know. You, you, had, you had a Glock 40 already, right? Correct, right? Yeah, that wasn't a rebuttal. That was yeah, my that's opener. The conversation. My, my bad. That was the conversation for the Glock 40. And Mickey yeah. said the Glock 40 was already in the group chat. Yeah, that wasn't a the Glock 40 was never that's a rebuttal. Right. That was my opener. Okay. Okay, I rebuttaled right. immediately afterwards mm. the radar and peep. Right. So mm -hmm. that was all rebuttal because he did level and stats. Right. So Glock 40 was a was a was a um, was my opener always. You know, mm -hmm. that was what it was always going to be. Like I got, you know, I sparred it. Now it's like this is how I'm, this is how I'm going to approach this battle. This is the first four lines and we're going to go from there. Now, when he had the level and stats bar, I thought of peep and radar in my head. Mm -hmm. And then I said to myself, OK, how am I going to make this a bar? Well, I think I'm going to attach it to a gun bar. Well, the only real gun bar is the is the Glock 40. So I'm going to mm -hmm. have to freestyle it after the Glock 40 bar, right. you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's when I said, I only said Glock 40 because if you, you ain't going to say a peep in my radar, that was all that was all freestyle. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, this is a great battle, man. Um, you know, people want to argue different things. I, I feel like I edged every round, like after watching it. Um, are there and polls? I just, is there huh? polls? Are there polls? Going around, who in the back? Um, I saw one on hip hop is real that I think uh Verb was edging mm -hmm. like right now. Um, yeah. but I mean, 
you know, there was polls the day that they happened live on pay-per-view. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't really read a whole lot of YouTube comments, but I, I scroll down just because sometimes there's, you can find just a hilarious absolutely, stuff. Absolutely. And, and so uh, I scroll so down absolutely. and seen a few, you know, and it was pretty back and forth, verb, or whatever, but like, that's what you can ask for, you know, just in a, in a great battle, so. What's going on with the merch? How's the merch looking like, sir? Merch is good. So pre-orders are in, you know. Um, I got a copy. I got a copy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I let you know, you know, I got like a, I got a secret menu for some for people that want, you know, a, a specifically designed uh, uh, shirt or whatever. Yeah. So I, yeah. I got you taken care of. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do pre-orders up until um, I think it's the next Friday. And then, um, then I'm going to go ahead and they're being made right now. And so then I'll get them the next week and then I'll ship them out. So wow, that's crazy, man. Um, your frack battle. Yeah, I, got, I made my own performance of the night money. I said, all right, let me go ahead and just drop this shirt. Since y'all giving y'all giving money out to, to, to people knowing dang well I should have been up there. You should have been like, up there. Let me drop. I, I, I said this before in the spaces. It's, you should have been up there and hitman. I yep. think y'all should have been up there. Oh yep. y'all should have been on that stage and everything like that, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, your frack battle that drops today, right? It dropped already, apparently. Already, right? Okay. So yeah, that's yeah. That's a workout here, my man. I know. I was. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I talked to Frack, and I, uh, I told him when the battle was dropping with, uh, with a uh, verb, and um, I thought he communicated to GTX because one thing I didn't want is I just didn't want my verb battle to overshadow what Frack did. Okay, you're right. You know, absolutely, absolutely, right, right, right. And right. so, and and I mean, and I feel like gonna, I did. It's gonna do that. It's gonna do that. And, it, yeah, and it's a great battle, you know. And I just. I just, man, I've, I've been a part of that. You know, I battled Gichi Gotti that first time, and then a week later he battled Shug, and then everybody was just like, you know, yeah. and it's not a good feeling when you go in there and get crazy, you know? And yeah. so, like, I was like, yo, you know, GTX should hold off a week or so to give, like... You should have. I agree. I agree. Yeah, you're right. But, um, you know, I, I, from what I gather on the social media back and forth, I don't think Disaster cares about what ARP thinks. So, so, no, I don't think so. You know, <laughs> yeah, so... um. So, yeah, the frack battle came out. You know, I'm definitely going to get to share in that. It's just tough because, like, even right now, I want to share the, the Averb drop, but mm -hmm. I'm battling clips on Chrome tomorrow, right, you right, know? Right. So it's like my social media and everything, I'm retweeting stuff from the Averb drop, but then I also want to promote the clips, and then you know how the algorithms are. Stuff gets lost, and then it's like, now I would love to just be sharing the GTX battle and, clip, and, and slip, snipping down stuff, telling people go watch it. But right. I'm kind of in a situation that right now where I really need to be focused on Chrome for the next, you know, 24 hours and even after the battle tomorrow. I asked Geechee Gotti this two days ago. No, two days ago. I spoke to Flames yesterday, and I'm going to ask you this question also. What? Am I, do, is there a lack of promotion for this? I'm surprised, respectfully. Shout out to Remy, that's this and everything. But I feel like a lack of promotion for this particular bat. You was on the last Chrome. You were on the biggest Chrome card in February. The promotion for that, obviously, Easy and Hitman was big. I feel like Easy Geechee, you, you and Clips, those are big battles. Yeah, man, it's tough. Um, you know, obviously, um, the contract that I originally signed was for a different date. You know, mm -hmm. it was for it was for earlier. So this mm -hmm. event was, you know, pushed back somewhat. And when you're mm -hmm. pushed back, you know, after summer madness after max out right before blackout you right. know like that's a that's a tough spot to be in really right, right, you know right, right. granted you're remy ma and you're chrome and you're geeky and you're easy it's like uh, you you shouldn't have the tough spot excuse because i mean you are you are supposed to be it you know what i mean right right, right. And so it has been just kind of a, a different dynamic you know um to it but i also say this much there's only four battles on this card right Right. So there's only eight battlers that are promoting, you know, mm -hmm. and then I think when you look at the four, the eight battlers that are on the card, there's not a lot of dynamic promoters. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. Like the, right. most of us are most of us are like, yeah, I'll smoke you, you know, I'll, I'll do this, that, and a third right. or whatever, right. you know. So the easy and Geechee battle to me should have been like the catalyst for like, this is how we're going to promote going back and forth at each other. Mm -hmm. I've been off the grid because I'm preparing for so many battles. So I can't sit back and say they're not promoting, but right, I haven't right, seen right. a lot outside of just tweets of mm -hmm. them really, you know, going at it because I would argue that like, and it's crazy to even think that me and verb like became a bigger battle than what easy and Geechee is. <laughs> 
and that, that's that you know like that, i mean that's credits to verb and credits to like what we were doing right, right, and right, so right, but right, right, to right. me though to me though easy and geechee is a battle of the year you know type battle of the summer yeah they're two of the best they're two of the best in the world so mm -hmm. it's like i definitely agree with you on the promotion side um you know, hopefully maybe some tonight uh, when we do face offs and everything, right. maybe some some things will like kick off and spark things or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I will say this much. Remy's done. I mean, she's always incredible with business. Absolutely. With me, man, like that's, that's everything is I've been taken care of. I've had man. It's just yeah, the whole nine yards, man. She's just she's just so great to work for. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that you're going to I think you're going to really, really enjoy all four battles tomorrow. And I think Battle Rap is going to be like, yo, we should do some more cards like this four or five battles, you know, all really, really good talent to take everything serious. When's the last time you've been on a card with just four matches and you're able to go home early? <laughs> Man, I hope. I hope I can go home early. I hope <laughs> it'd be it'd be the it'd be the one card that's got four battles that don't start till nine. Right. Or right. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, and, and that's 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 cool too. Is like you should be there, you know. I can I can go and I can watch all the battles, you mm -hmm. know, because like RBE event, like I didn't watch any of the undercard. I don't even think I, I didn't see QB and RX either because yeah. I just didn't want to get there and be so tired and, you know, oh, you focus, know, focus, overstimulated focus. from shaking hands and everything, you know. So this event, I, I can come in, I can watch the battles, I can enjoy it, you know, and, and have a good time. So when you battle clips back in Cleveland, um, was it, um, the rap committee, right? That's what it's called. Yep. Right? Rap Did you ever think that you guys would spin the block back? And have a second conversation. Yeah, yeah. So clips and Arsenal both. I did one rounders with both well, of them. You know, facts, facts, facts. those are both battles that like um, I approached as if like th these were going to be three round battles again someday. You know what I mean? Some um, and they both turned out really, really good one rounders. You know, mm -hmm. um, I knew for sure that clips was going to be three rounds one day because he had to go first. And so after I was done rapping, he wanted to rebuttal. You know, but he it was a one rounder, so I was like. Clips has that competitive, you know, edge. So he's Absolutely. like, you know, I'm gonna get you one day in a, in a three rounder. So yeah, I definitely knew that it would happen. I didn't know uh, where it would happen. Um, mm -hmm. You know, King of the Dot called me about Clips uh, a couple months, a few months ago. You know, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you know, uh, Chrome's called me about Clips. I don't think RBE ever, ever called me about him, but you know, he's been his name came up a few times in negotiations. But I'm just glad it's on. I'm glad it's on his card. I'm glad it's on Chrome. Um, you know, I battled Vixen last time. And yeah, so I now, was in the building for that last time yep. was on Chrome. You shook the yep. building. That's okay. Yep. And so that's now, now clips, man. That's it's just awesome. How far were you in your material clips as the Avery battle was going on? And about so, like you know, the way I compartmentalize, I compartmentalize thoughts. I'll go write a punchline or something and just leave it there, not even like r write it all out or whatever. I'll have yeah. ideas. I'll have different things, and then I'll jot them down or leave voice notes. And so I would say, like, I had, like, a round of ideas and material done mm -hmm. for clips, you know? Um, and so and then about a verb, and then, you know, um, I got to, like, actually taking those ideas and stuff and writing everything out. So all three rounds mm -hmm. um, have been written in the last two weeks, like, all the way out. So I know, I can imagine for you battle rappers, preparing for anybody in battle rap has got to be difficult, right? Because you guys got to have new material every trip, right? For Charlie, so I write three songs. Right, it's like three you write, songs. Exactly. You got to write. You write three brand new songs, and then and then you get one time. You don't even get to punch in in the studio. You get one time to be perfectly <laughs> rehearsing the three songs you just wrote. Yeah, it's wild. Right. Is it hard preparing for a guy like Charlie Clips? Oh it's man, easy because you did it once before, one round battle, yeah. of course. But yeah, Clips does this thing where, like, I mean, he's just such a nice guy, you know, and he's just like. And he's the like Jedi your friend. Tricks, man. The Jedi yeah. Tricks. He's your friend on stage. He's laughing and carrying yeah. on with you and stuff. And then, you know, even in the promo, like he doesn't approach promo to like, you know, like I was just thinking to myself as I was preparing for clips, like I even called him. I was like, can you just go start a space and just call me names or something? I was like, you know what I mean? Like, like, because he just, you know, he just, he's just such a cool dude. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And so, um, like trying to get into that fifth gear or that, you know, like, or whatever is difficult because he does he plays that that game with you of like mm. you know like hey we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a good one and, it, and you know you want to make sure that you still have like that that aggressor mentality like that you're still going for the kill when you're battling him or whatever so i definitely learned that in the in the in the one rounder you know what i mean mm. um but like it's also just tough because i mean he's charlie clips you know he battles a lot as well so it's like mm. he like 
all the name flips, all the everything's been said, been you know, and 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 not only has it been said, he's Charlie Clips, so he, he garners a lot of views. Absolutely. So it's like it's been said, and people have seen that it has been, you know what I mean? So you're just going in there, and you're just like, okay, cool, like, like this is this has got a million views. All right, boom. You want to make sure that your material is original. Mm. Are you expecting a forty Glock line tomorrow? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I expect the clips to flip that. Though. Oh yeah, I'm expecting that. I'm, classic clips, <laughs> classic, classic clips. He's gonna be like, oh, so you, oh, so you got a Glock 40, 40. on my bitch ass. Well, I'll take your chick and put the Glock 40 on your bitch ass. <laughs> and I was like, this is like that. That's, that's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's classic. It's you classic. Do you, are you expecting this battle to be more on a comical tip? I'm not sure. I mean, I think that I think that it could be. Um, it's funny though, because I was writing some humorous and comical stuff for verb and I kept scratching it because I'm like, this is not that kind of battle, yeah, but I would write things that I thought were, I thought were funny, right. but then I would be like, I can't put this in the verb material. Cause right. I don't ever want to bring the crowd to, you know, whatever I, you know? And so, um, so approaching clips, I'm like, oh, this is a battle that I can, uh, you know, that I could definitely be more versatile with, you know, and use humor, use different things or whatever. Um, you know, in the first battle when he battled me, he did a, he did a lot of funny stuff. You know, a that's, lot of that's funny a, shit. A lot yeah, of you know, stuff. he did a lot of stuff. You know, like he's talking about you know the four horsemen, but there's five of us. You know, like the curtain opens and there's five. You know, and different things like that. So yeah, I could definitely see that happening. I looked at a video of what the venue looks like. It looks like it's a big stage, kind of in a nightclub type thing. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe holds like four or five hundred people, something like I mean, that. You, you, you just said the same thing you say, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I didn't know if we were going to be in the pit or on stage until I saw this video a couple of days ago. And I do think that we're going to be on a stage. So, um, you know, humor comes with that, too, and entertaining and being on a stage. So mm -hmm. you put a tweet out saying clips will be in rare form tomorrow. Is that you psyching yourself out or do you feel he's going to be in rare form tomorrow? Uh, both. Both. Um, I have to prepare as if he is, but like right. if you look back, Frack was probably the best Frack we've seen. Absolutely. Big K was the best Big K we've seen all year. Uh, a verb's the best A verb we've seen in a long time. Um, okay. Okay. Like, like I, I'm not gonna sit here and expect this to not be a Charlie Clips. It's like you know, the one you know, especially after the Jazz right. battle and and, and and a couple things, you know, whatever. It's like he's just too First good. Time on you know? Chrome. First time on Chrome, you know. Yeah, it's funny because when we talk about like strength of schedule, like. You know, I don't I don't really talk about the names per se. Mm -hmm. I just talk about how they performed against me. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, like, you know, like if you get like a, a, a clips that didn't care, like you shouldn't get points for strength of schedule. But if you get like a clips that's in rare form like that and, and like lately my strength of schedule, like I've been fighting in wars against everybody's best, you know, and that's a testament to what I do, you know, and them not mm -hmm. wanting to lose to me. So wait, 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 wait. Um, Homesy battle. Talk to me. Homes by Homesy. Yeah, yeah. Me and Holmes is gonna be a good battle, man. Yeah, man. Me and Holmes is gonna be crazy. That yeah. card is crazy. That card is super fire. Yeah, three rounds. Okay. okay yeah, okay. yeah, three rounds. Um, yeah, that card is super fire. Um, mm -hmm. I think Av and uh John four hundred yeah. right. J four hundred is J four hundred. Yeah, and then uh Danny Myers is battling. Oh, solo. And then Saga and Ines. Right? I like Saga. I like Saga. Right, man. Like such that. a good. I, like I think it's like yes. Such a good card, man. And Holmesy is an incredible talent as well. That's going to be another one, man. He's been sitting. I haven't seen him doing as much lately, so I'm sure he's clipped up, you know, and I'm sure he's going to have, you know, three crazy rounds, and that's going to be right after Blackout, you know? Your Blackout, so, your, your, your Blackout's Blackout two weeks after up. Trump. I love your Blackout match, match, matchup, though. I think it's going to be one of those. It's, Me too. You and that guy are yeah. going to have a dope battle, I believe, man. For real, for real. On some rapping? Listen, though. Listen, man, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what I signed up for, but, yeah, you, you know, let's make it through clips. Make it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let me ask you a question. K-Shine. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was yeah. that back before you and Shine had on Twitter? Shine, you can't. That was like a respectful. Yeah, real quick, real quick. Hey, K-Shine, I rock with you heavy, my dude. But don't sit up there acting like yeah. K-War beneath you to battle him, my dude. We're not doing that, but go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was... um. You know, I, I said I don't. I don't really get in spaces. I didn't really realize what all was going on with the Hitman Luck stuff. It's just boom pops up. I'm like, oh, what's going crazy? You know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, since I knew that like Hitman and Lux were being talked about, you know, you, you tweet something, you put their names in it, you know, for the algorithms right. and stuff like that. But then mm -hmm. I just added in there like, yo, like 
I think that would be a fire RBE matchup. Like, I think it would be a crazy blue room matchup, me and K Shine. You know what I mean? And so I just. Vern and Will, and you and Shine? What? 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 <laughs> I didn't know if Max out three couldn't be beat, but now that card might be doing it. That card is crazy. That card is fire. You know yeah. That? Yeah. And so, uh, How do you take that? I, I didn't take his response disrespectful. You know what I mean? And yeah. yeah. K-Shine is kind of like, so, you know, him saying, like, I, uh, I, you know, I've never been thrown across his desk or anything. You know, I responded to it like, well, of course, because your desk has been, you know, over there. You know? Yeah, you, you had a sick of walk in there. What did you say? Oh, God. I said, now that you spread your wings and you work a remote. <laughs> yeah. The one thing you don't want to do is piss K Shine off. So I wasn't yeah, about to go yeah, back yeah, and forth yeah. with him on Twitter. Like, he's already pissed off. I don't need him to be more mad. Right, 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 you yeah. know? Um, so it was it was a respectful, you know, just uh it's just saying like putting that out there, like, yo, guys, like there's a lot of battles that I really would love to have on RBE, you know. Um, yeah, Hollow, and, Hollow still. yeah, me and Hollow, uh, me and e e I would love to battle Ines in some kind of setting, you know, and I would love to battle K Shine and I would love to battle King Los. Um, and so there's guys like even I don't know, Av, I don't know what Av's situation is, but I would love to take Av, you know, um, in the blue room, you know, that would be crazy to me. So, um, and Swamp as well, you know, so I don't, I don't know what their situations are, but there's guys that I would love to take on RBE in the blue room and not the blue room, whatever it is, a writer's volume. You know, whatever it may be, um, and it's just a it's just a respect thing. And then and then I've got you know a great list of of, of people on Chrome as well that you know continuing that. Trenches, are you are you are, are you surprised you haven't got a call for that yet? Um, did I get a call for that? I think I got a call for that. Yeah, um, right. yeah I got a call for it, uh, but I was already battling. Um, okay. I had a battle that week or whatever. Um, uh, so yeah, but I'm not. I think I got a call to be a replacement after everything fell through with that card. Okay, remember, gotcha, gotcha. and so um, I am not. I would say I'm not surprised. My relationship with Easy is different. It's um, I don't know where it's at professionally. You know what I mean? Uh, right. so so like I don't necessarily know if I'm I'm like somebody he wants to like pay and give a marquee matchup to because there's also a competition there between us both you know uh -huh. um so i'm not sure what that looks like but i don't doubt that you know that it would be a great a great look and that crowd's such a great crowd i'd love to perform there one day hmm. you went easy does it happen on chrome yeah that's got to happen on chrome that's gotta happen on chrome yeah. right yeah, yeah chrome. that was that one's gotta happen on chrome um yeah that's a that's that's one i definitely would like to battle um I would also like, and if there's another uh, female, you know, uh, I would like to battle C3. Um, yeah, I think she's super, super talented. Um, a dope battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's there's definitely some Chrome opportunities. But yeah, easy to me is like you know, is one of those ones. You know, it's another it's another main event Chrome Chrome event. You know, mm -hmm. like you the minute you put up Easy versus A Ward like as the main event for Chrome, it's it sells. You know. Yeah. Um, what was I ask you about? So you got Easy coming up. You got Holmesy coming up also, right? Are you done for the year after? Um. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <God>. Nope. <laughs> you got four more left for the year. So you know, me and Loso got the two on two in London. We're yeah. battling Marlo and Shuffle yeah. T. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm working on um a big a big matchup um hopefully on a riot before the end of the year. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I had mentioned in a tweet that I want to rock or twerk. And, uh, you know, so we, 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 we've been in talks or whatever. I don't know if it's uh, it's going to happen or not. But, like, you know, that's 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 the, the matchup. One, one or the other. You and twerk? Me and twerk or me and Tay Rock, yeah. I like you and twerk, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not saying I don't like you and Tay Rock. Well, you and twerk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you and twerk guy. That's yeah. That would be a goodie right there, man. Um, Last question. Are you surprised? Hit, man? It's a crazy year, yo. It is, it is, it is. Are, are you surprised Hit I mean, Loaded Lux is so adamant about battling Hitman though? As as a battle rap as a battle rapper? Surprised. Um I've never seen him like that. I, mean, I don't know. Like I I'm kind of looking at it from the outside in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's a different dynamic. It's like yo, 
Um, the rum nitty battle is like that pin that pin battle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's no disrespect to Hitman. Well, and the Hitman is kind of like a money making huge yes, mega yes. god tier battle. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it really we we all know that like. It really comes down to what Lux wants to do. You know, whatever he wants to do is what he's going to do. He doesn't like he moves up on his own accord. That's why he's yes. only battled, you know, both times. Mm -hmm. um, well, shout out to uh, uh, I don't know who it was. It might either Cola or Polo or Bill Collector, somebody. I got a tweet and they said Ward has more legends on his resume than Lux. I was like, yeah, that's fire. That's not fire. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, and, and Lux is one of my goats too. But you know, it right. just comes down to what he wants to do. You know. So both matchups are going to sell. Both matchups are something we're all going to watch. Absolutely. You know, um, I just think that you know um, he needs. He probably needs to make his mind up. Mm. All right. So, are you ready for tomorrow? And then, like, where? So, like, because Hitman it, it, Break it up, what? Hit is that battle on RBE? What's that? Um, what, with Lux and Hitman. We we good now? No, we good now. We good now. We good now. We saying now? Good. Yeah, with Lux, Lux and Hit, Lux and Hitman, would it be on RBE? I hope so. It yeah, would Lux and Hitman be on RBE? I would think so. I would think so. I would think so. I would. I would think Hitman and Lux would be on RBE. Lux and, and then Lux and Rum would be on URL too. So that's also like, and then yeah. yeah. All right. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Let's see if it does this. Thing. I am. I am ready for tomorrow. I am uh hundred percent written. And I am uh about eighty percent memorized. So that's that's good for the day before. I'm usually always, you know, this is standard. Right. right. All right, my brother, we'll talk definitely after the battle, man. What well, I appreciate you, King. Are you pulling up or are you are you chilling? I at the crib at the crib, man. Playing the crib, man. Playing the crib. I was I was on the go this year. I'm playing the crib, though. Play the crib, man. I ain't mad at you, man. Hey man, always appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Always man. One. Peace and love, brother. Make, make you proud okay. tomorrow. All right. You already, man. You already. <laughs>